Coverage.com. Mr. Phillips, could you give us your full name and proper spelling for the record? My name is Gary James Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S. Where do you live? I live at 888 Northeast 92nd Street, Kirkland. And how long have you lived at that address? Approximately five months. And before that time, where did you live? I lived in Bellevue at that time, in an apartment. And are you married? No. Have you ever been married? No. Do you live by yourself or with someone else? Roommates. Could you give us the names of your roommates? Jerry, Dave, Lou. You have three roommates? Yes, correct. Do they have last names? Simpkins, every one of them. Do you know how they spell that? S-I-M-K-I-N-S. Are these three people related to you? No. Just friends? They are friends of mine. And they are related to each other, I assume? Brothers. What I would like to do now is get some background on you. Let's begin with your educational background. Could you give us a summary of your education? I went through high school. I graduated from high school in 1972. Where did you go to high school? Redmond. And you graduated in the class of 1972? That's correct. And did you have any further education beyond high school? No, no sir. Did you take any training in what would be called, I think, job training or skills training, that type of thing, beyond high school? No. This is a question that I wonder if you could answer in terms of currently, anyway. Do you have any plans to seek higher education at all? Go to college or take classes of any sort? I've been thinking about it. And what are your plans, if any at all, at this point? My plans haven't been decided as of yet. Are you thinking about seeking training in a particular field or area? No, not any specific field, no. So I take it basically you've given it some thought, but not quite enough thought to a point where you have definite plans? Correct, right. And the accident occurred, I believe, in November of 1978, is that correct? That's true. And at that time, had you had any plans to seek further education? Yes, I did. What were those plans? I was trying to seek a position as a police officer at the time. What steps had you taken to get a job as a police officer? I took a written and physical test for the Seattle Police Department. Did you apply to any other police departments? No. Just to the Seattle Police Department? Just Seattle. Did you get the results of your written exam? Yes, I did. Did you pass? Yes, I did. And do you remember about when you took that exam? No, I don't. Was it within a year prior to the accident? Yes. And what about the physical exam? Did you pass that also? Yes, I did. Did you receive a notification that you passed the physical in the mail? Yes, I did. Do you still have that by any chance? I don't believe so. And I take it also that the physical exam occurred within a year prior to the time of the accident? Yes. You don't remember the exact date or possible date? No, sir. And what were your prospects of being hired with the Seattle Police Department? Had they notified you you were on some type of civil service register or about to be hired or anything like that? Yes, they did send me a notice to make interviews, but I was in the hospital probably a week then at Harborview. So after the accident, you received the notification to come in for an interview? Yes, I did. I wonder, have you kept that notification by any chance? I think I still have it, yes. Was there anyone, a particular individual at the police department, with whom you dealt? No. I take it you dealt generally with the personnel department? Correct. In the normal course of applying for a job with that department? Yes. I take it you had not had any interviews prior to the time of the accident? No, I haven't. And you haven't had any since? No. Other than your steps which you took to obtain employment with the Seattle Police Department, at the time of the accident, had you taken any other steps to seek other employment than the job you had at that time? No, sir. So your focus, at least at the time of the accident, was getting a job with the Seattle Police Department? Yes. Did you have any intentions then, at the time of the accident, of seeking further training or education along with your plans to get a job with the police department? I don't exactly know what you mean there. I'm trying to find out whether or not you decided to get some training before going to the police department or in conjunction with the job at the police department. Any plans to do anything like that? No, I didn't. I wonder if you could give us a summary and account of your work background. I've worked in grocery stores when I was younger and been in, been in the construction field, more or less, after I got out of high school. And that's what I mostly did, construction type work. Which construction companies had you worked for besides Menlo Construction Company? There was numerous companies I worked for. I probably couldn't remember them all right now. 
Do you want me to mention a few of them? Well, why don't you just do the best you can? I don't expect you to be able to recite each and every one, but do the best you can, and the approximate dates or times as best you can remember. I can't remember any of the times.